How loud should I make my lead vocal? Next on Music Surgery with me, Dr. Bob. As much as we all love a huge snare drum and walls of guitars, the lead vocal always wins the battle for top spot in our mixes. Most people that listen to music aren't singing the guitar solo or humming the kick drum pattern. They're singing the lyrics and the melody to the song. So let's figure out the best level for the lead vocal in any song across different genres. Okay, so let me start off with the song with no vocal in and I'll inch it up at first to see where I think it sounds good. Now that sounds pretty good to me, where the track is kind of couching the vocal. The vocal's here, and the track is around it. So let me listen to that. Let me listen to the chorus where more things come in again and see how that sounds. Okay, as a music guy, as a track guy, as a producer who loves pianos and snare drums and guitars and all kinds of things, that sounds right to me. Now, here is the lesson that I've learned throughout the years. The vocal is too soft where you like the vocal. When you're Mixing for an artist or a band and there's a and people and labels involved They always want the vocal louder So what I do what I've learned through the years and now my ear is accustomed to and I think they're probably right Because the vocal is really what the whole world is singing. I Go to my lead vo I go to my vocal channel And I turn it up a DB Wherever you like the vocal and wherever you think it sounds good, at the end, turn it up a dB or two. And that's going to be where the label, the artist, and everyone likes it. Trust me, every mix I did for the first five years, they always asked me for the vocal up, and it always drove me crazy. Now, I understand what they mean. No, Sumner, I'm not doing this part. I told you, I don't feel comfortable... I don't feel comfortable with do how to lie about your lead vocal level. I can't lie. Now, when I turn in mixes, I turn in the master, I turn in the vocal up, and I turn in the vocal up, up. They usually want those three mixes. If you're sure, if you're positive that where your vocal is sounds great 
It's loud enough. It's big enough, but not overpowering. <laughs> what you can do is... Sorry, I don't know what's doing that. Make that vocal that you are ready to die in the mountain for, make that the vocal up mix when you're labeling your mixes. So at this point, I would turn it down 1 dB, make my mix, and I would call that the, the song title, which is wrong, the, the song's called wrong, Master. Then I would turn this up where I had it, 1 dB, where I think it really does sound best, and I would call that the vocal up because no artist, no label, no one is going to pick any mix you do except for the one that says vocal up. They may not even listen to the master. They're always going to go right to the vocal up mix and listen to that, and if they like it, they're going to approve it because that's what they do. Um, you learn this through the years. Artists and labels always want to hear the vocal louder. So if you want to cheat the system, which I don't recommend, wink, wink, make the mix that you think sounds amazing, the vocal up mix. Well, there you go. Mix it to where the singer is happy and out front, and you've probably got the vocal at a level just enough to annoy you but exactly where it should be. Also, I never recommend lying on here, but Sumner has mislabeled a few vocal up mixes in the past, a technique that I'm not proud of, but not fired him for yet. Hey, you guys, I want to get rich from YouTube. Sumner, put the right script up there. That is not the script that we... Hey, guys, please take time to subscribe and ring the bell below to notify you of new surgeries. Also, take a look around in my store for some great cheap and free stuff. And one last thing, the doctor's lounge is open and in full swing. Come on, join us, get some amazing samples, stems, or one-on-one -on -one mix, production, or music advice. This is a really cool and super affordable thing, so check it out and see if it's for you. All the links are below in the description of this video. Thanks a lot. Well, that does it for this week. Thanks again, as always, for watching. Leave me some comment love below in the comment section or hit me at drbobmusicsurgery at gmail.com. Remember to take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you the next time the doctor's in.